Welcome to the Blade of Tech Channel's 56th edition in our series discussing events and innovation, science, technology, and space exploration. Following a flight readiness review on July 22nd, NASA gave the go-ahead for a July 30th launch of Boeing CST-100 Starliner on the Orbital Flight Test 2 mission. Liftoff of the spacecraft on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V is scheduled for 2.53 p.m. Eastern. If the launch is postponed, the next opportunity is August 3rd. If the unmanned capsule reaches orbit without problems, Starliner will dock with the International Space Station about 24 hours later. It would remain docked to the station until August 5th, whereupon it would undock and deorbit later that day for a parachute landing at White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico. The OFT-2 mission will come more than a year and a half after the original OFT flight in December of 2019. Software problems encountered immediately after the spacecraft separated from its Centaur upper stage prevented it from going to the ISS, and it instead landed after just two days in space. The mission plan for OFT-2 will be very similar to what had been planned for OFT. Boeing had implemented just over 60 recommendations from an independent review team last year about software issues during the OFT mission, as well as about another 20 recommendations to address communication problems encountered during the flight. Starliner will not be the only craft attempting docking maneuvers this coming week. NAWCA, a new module for the Russian section of the ISS, launched July 21st, is expected to dock with the station on July 28th. The new module has reportedly suffered issues with its propulsion system, although Roscosmos has compensated with additional maneuvers to raise its orbit. The NAWCA is also called the Multipurpose Laboratory Module. Docking by the Starliner is not dependent on the installation of the MLM. Before we continue our coverage of Starliner's upcoming second flight, let us know if you are enjoying our 56 short for space exploration, science, and technology. If so, click that like button. What did you think of Boeing's efforts to produce a second source for commercial crew flights to the ISS? Go ahead and share with us by dropping a comment below. We hope you have been enjoying our content. Have we earned your subscription to our channel? If yes, and you have not yet taken the opportunity to subscribe, please take a moment to do so now and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. We want to continue delivering great content to you. You can always unsubscribe and subscribing is free. Boeing recently completed end-to-end -end testing of Starliner's flight software by flying a five-day simulated OFT-2 mission to the station. All actions recommended by the NASA-Boeing Joint Independent Review Team following Starliner's uncrewed first flight test in December 2019 are complete and pending closure by NASA. Boeing developed Starliner with funding from NASA's Commercial Crew Program, which was designed to replace the space shuttle fleet that retired in 2011. In 2014, NASA awarded both Boeing and SpaceX with contracts. Boeing received about twice as much funding as SpaceX. SpaceX has already launched three crewed missions to the space station for NASA, the last two of which were fully operational flights. SpaceX's first astronaut mission, which launched in May of 2020, was a demonstration flight. Starliner will lift from Space Launch Complex 41 at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. About 31 minutes after launch, Starliner will reach its preliminary orbit. It is scheduled to dock at the space station at 3.06 p.m. Saturday, July 31st. Although this is a test mission, Starliner will not arrive at the ISS empty-handed. The spacecraft will carry more than 400 pounds of NASA cargo and crew supplies to the space station. It will also return to Earth with more than 550 pounds of cargo, including reusable nitrogen-oxygen recharge system tanks that provide breathable air to station crew members. Boeing has loaded 320 pounds of its own cargo that includes special commemorative items for Starliner employees, suppliers, and partners. Rosita Riveter commemorative coins will also be on board, created to celebrate last year's passage of the Rosita Riveter Congressional Gold Medal Act, which honors 19 million American women who worked in the aerospace industry as men went off to fight in World War II. Boeing built B-17 and B-29 bombers during World War II, while other companies the aerospace giant has since absorbed built critical aircraft like the B-25 bomber, the P-51 fighter, and the C-47 freighter. 
NASA astronauts at the ISS already moved the SpaceX Crew Dragon Endeavour from one port to another on the station to make room for Starliner's arrival. Next week will mark the first time two commercial crew vehicles will be docked on the station. A successful OFT-2 mission would allow NASA and Boeing to proceed with a manned crew flight test that will carry three NASA astronauts. Boeing had hoped to conduct that flight later in 2021, although NASA has not yet committed to any launch date. The agency is anxious to get Starliner into service, providing a second U.S. source for lifting astronauts to orbit. But the availability of both SpaceX Dragon and Soyuz MS seats has reduced the sense of urgency. Boeing, for its part, has eaten the additional cost of OFT-2, and the company is eager to stop losses from flowing to the bottom line. Links to some of our most recent episodes can be found in the description section below. You can peruse our entire 300 plus video library by looking at our playlists, which conveniently sort videos by subject. We announce all new videos in our microblogging accounts, which are listed below, as well as in the community feed for this channel. Want to know how to navigate our channel content? We refer to RetroTech in innovation documentary segments as episodes. Coverage of current events in space exploration, science and technology are labeled as shorts. Space and tech history are documented in an anthology called Milestones. And gameplay recordings can be discovered on the Bladed Tech gaming channel in videos called walkthroughs and side missions. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed and Minds page, where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed and where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.